This is the fashion. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut illusion corset using these two corsets that I've already covered. This uh, corset, the way I covered it, I use a paper tape. I've done a tutorial on how to do this, and I'll be putting the link under the description of this particular video. So make sure you watch it so as to know how to cover your corset with just a paper tape and that is going to give you a very fantastic um, result if you use that so before i begin today's lecture i want to use this medium to thank you all for subscribing to my channel for you to subscribe i want to see me in my next tutorial i really really appreciate you guys for subscribing for, and for those people watching me for the first time please at the end of this class but make sure you subscribe to my channel Thank you. So, as I said, that today's topic is going to be based on how to how to make an illusion corset using this. This is a vein that I'll be using. You can use any fabric of your choice. Can you, you can use a thicker fabric than this. You can use a um, a transparent fabric. It depends on how you want it to be. And this is the bead that I'll be using to cover the corset. And this is the gum that I'll be using. You can see. So, this is the half cut. Here is the half cut, the shoulder measurement with a shoulder slant, the ammo measurement, you can see, the breast point, this is the breast point, the under the bust, and this is the half cut with one inch of seam allowance. So, the next thing to do here, I'll be cutting this out. This is the arm hole. This is the arm hole. This is the under the bust. This is oh, uh, this is the breast point. This is the breast point. This is under the bust, and this is um, the half cut, the half cut, and this is the one inch for the same allowance. All these are not constant. Can make yours an half inch. It depends on how you want it. So the bust the. The next thing is to place your corset here yeah, then you have to determine where the breast point is and the under bust before you can cut out so this is how i determine my so this is the center of the bust you can leave it depends on how wide you want this area to be you can use one inch you can use 1.5 you can even use half inch it depends on you so yeah i'll be making use of one inch so this is the one inch then from this one inch now no at this ammo area the breast used to be full so you have to make it a slant so that it will cover all the breast at the side there this is one inch one inch make sure the curve ends to the under bust you can see this is the line for the under bust so starting from the shoulder here so the under bust is 12.5 inches and the breast point is 10 inches you can see the breast point is 10 inches and the other bust is 12.5 inches so that is how you're going to place your cup so the next thing that remains here is to take the measurement this is where the curves we start at the ammo side and at the center of the bust this is where you're going to start from you can see as long as you have to trace this thing out this is how it's going to be you can see it you can see it so but we're not tracing it out we're just going to place it under this net you can see this is how it's going to be so let me cut this um the pattern out then i'm going to place it on the veneers so for the measurement the bust measurement here is 36 inches that's nine inches in four places 
it's going to frustrate six inches so with any allowance of your choice with any seam allowance of your choice so let me make it of two inches yeah so when you get to the waist side here the waist measurement here is 28 inches it's 28 inches with the same allowance of two inches i said the same allowance is not constant you can make use of any allowance of your choice so i'll be connecting the two lines together this with this this is the main measurement and these are the same allowance as you can see so the next thing that we need here is to cut it out after doing that then i'll cut out the neckline it depends on the um, type of neck that you want so let me just make this of the wideness of the neck here let me make of three inches for the wideness of the neck and the deepness of the neck is three inches as well then i'll be connecting the two lines together the lines together then I'll be cutting it out so here is the neckline so after doing all this the next thing to do here is to place it on this then cut it out so this is it i've cut it out you can see it so let me just so you can see it this is after cutting it out then i'll come to this area so you can see it. this is the half cut now so i'll be placing this to get this one inch of the distance between the two corsets so I'll be placing it back and I have to trace it out. So this is where my one inch is. You can see. This is where the one inch is. So, so I've got that. Then the one inches A. You can see. So after then, you're going to open it. going to open the door I'll be placing this inside it you can see it so you can see the way I'm trying to set it in this is my notch from ear to ear now is two inches so that's why you can see this area is white you can try to make it closer by using 0 0.5 inch for the distance of the two corsets so this is it so after this if you can stitch it one or tack it to make the cup stand in so that's what i'm doing now so after placing it this way before you tack it or you stitch it just take your measurement from the shoulder to know where your cup falls to and this is actual this is the nipple nipple point is a uh, 10 inches and the under the bust and under the bust is 12.5 inches you can see it is well placed so just make sure before you tack it down it is well placed after tacking it down this way you can see you can see it so the nice thing to cut now is the box you can do any box of your choice you can do you can do a triangle box or a round box or a straight box so that is what I will be doing now. So let me cut out a triangle box for you. I'll be using this pattern to cut out the box after folding this into two. Then, 
The waist measurement is 28 inches. That's 7 into 4 places. It's going to give us 28 inches. So from the from the waist measurement to the length of the bags, I'll be using 10 inches. So this is where I want my bags to reach. 10 inches. 10 inches. So... Like I said, you can make a one box. So with the same allowance, this is seven inches. The same allowance of two inches. That makes it uh, nine inches. So from here now, I'll be cutting a slant line so before you can slant down make sure you put some inches there to make sure so you don't cut so by the time you cut it um, to make this area too sharp it's going to short the measurement so that's why i'll be adding that is why i'll be adding 0 0.2 0 .2 to it 0 0.2 so from 0 0.2 here i'll be slanting it up so you can see then i'll be cutting it out then to the same allowance The next thing now is to cut out the shape. So, this is how the shape is going to be. In our next class, I'll be teaching you how to make a proper box. Box of different um, shape. So, that will be our next tutorial. So, this is it. I'll be placing this on a fabric, then to cut it out. This is after cutting the box out with the fabric. You can see. So the next thing here is to join both the backs and the half pots together. But before then, I'll be placing all these on the cup area. And you can use an applique. You can cut out a flower on the lace. A lace that have a pattern. You can use it. But here, I'll make it of this bridge. So now this is after attaching the box to the half pot and this is the concept with a bead pencil. Here I make use of this bead, placing it to on the second cup to make the beauty comes out. As you can see, so if you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like it and don't forget to share it. Thank you for watching. Bye!